What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm going to be playing a game called Cage Face. Now please excuse me if I sound a bit stuffed up. My allergies for some reason are kicking in right now at the end of summer, which happens to me every year. So you may hear a few sniffles, you may catch a few sneezes, you may hear my voice sound very stuffy but that's besides the point the point is today i'm playing this game and cold case documents are here in front of me oh so there are a few things i can interact with here two bodies found in subway tunnel police earlier this friday identified the corpses of two men known as p everest and h avery who were found in a tunnel within the milwaukee subway the cause of death does not seem to be an accident of any kind but rather a murder Deliberate jabs with a sharp object leaving deep wounds have been detected on several body parts such as the heads and upper torsos of both men. Investigators have been scouting the area following the results of the autopsy, stating that the punctures are too large to have been caused by a knife. Horror at a tunnel under construction, a shocking sight was discovered this weekend when construction workers went to check up on the progress of the repairs in a tunnel in Bristol. Three men were found dead, two of which appear to have been the victims of cold-blooded murder. There are clear signs of horrific mutilation with a large tool, leaving both traces of blunt trauma and deep stabs. The third victim, however, found hidden at the, at the entrance of a manhole showed no such wounds. Thorough inspections led examiners to believe that his death was related to inhalation of toxic fumes. It is yet unclear who is behind these terrible deeds and where the deadly air could have originated from. I have a couple ideas of where it could have originated from. Workers in a southern mine in Czechoslovakia are still unable to continue work ever since a poisonous gas started to seep out of the place. The sudden incident claimed the life of one miner right before immediate evacuation. A second person is currently in intensive care, having trouble breathing and trembling heavily. In addition, he suffers from the effects of hallucinations, as he daily complains about not being able to sleep saying that recollections of a man with a deformed face stalking him keep haunting his mind. Well, there's a lot of exposition here, and is that cage face? I assume it is. What about this? Oh my god, there's a lot of reading here. Most of these historical sites are to be treated with a bit more dignity, according to my uncle, yet this evening he decides it's alright to have a little drinking party around this old mine that was uncovered recently. All day he had been assisting the locals in opening up this entrance, working their way through a wall of spiky rocks, and there's still quite some debris left. It's pretty charming seeing him unwind like this after a hard day's work. Okay, I might have to help him resist the urge to have another bottle. I'm sure his work is far from finished and he still has a bunch to do tomorrow. Gonna skip ahead to May 27th, it's hard to remember all that happened in that split second. My brain was trying to save my skin, I remember the bird from before but no other sound. I'm sure there was something else, I've tried to share what I observed there. But hell if I know how to start, are you sure it's not dangerous in there? Was all I could say to my uncle. What if something's in there, I continued. He told me he'd be delighted if he found anything. Perhaps traces of history and artifacts that can tell us more. I had less trouble describing the situation to my friends, but their response was harder to process. They told me I should have just gone to sleep as they did and not let the drink get to my head. Well, I wasn't the one vomiting yesterday. I'm not sure what I saw, but that shape and the bright light sure linger as an afterimage in my mind. So the guy saw like a weird light and a silhouette, apparently. What is this? Multiple stab wounds to the body. The possible weapon used for such wounds could be a pickaxe. Jeez, yeah, those are, those are very large wounds. Well, that's unfortunate for whoever suffered those wounds. What does this say? Sorry, couldn't wait. I'll lay some glow sticks, find me. P.S. Record everything. And is this cage face over here? This is cage face. This feels like another siren head type situation, but like a new version of it. Let's pick this up. June 13th, 1987, and pop that right in there. So I believe this is where the gameplay actually starts. Let's get into this. Oh, is it gonna be in this view the whole time? Like with the TV? I like that, that's cool. I can't believe he talked me into doing this. I can't either. I would never have done something like this on my own accord. Of my own accord? Of my own volition? Alright, well we got some glow sticks here. I guess I gotta follow these because that's what it said in the note. Oh. What is this? Is this a lantern I can use? Oh, I can zoom in. Do birds nestle here? Wait, where's, where's the feathers? Oh, there we go. All right, well, it doesn't seem like anything else worthwhile in here, unless I'm mistaken. Nope, I can't seem to do anything, so let's get out of here. Well, these glow sticks did nothing. I gotta go the way the glow sticks aren't even. 
Oh, wait. Excuse me? I sent a cave in. I heard some rocks tumbling. That's not a good sign. All right, so we just passed a glow stick, and it seems like there's two... Oh, no. One possible way. Okay. I thought it was two branching paths. Oh. Uh, the hell was that noise? Okay, there's definitely a cave in there. That's not promising for me. Being in an abandoned mine shaft is never a good idea, so don't ever do this. Don't ever do what I'm doing in this game. Things can go sour very quickly. Yep, there goes the noise again, the cave-in noise. I don't know what just happened in my camera there, but whatever. Guess it's not important. Okay, this way is blocked off. Seems to be leading me down a direct path, which I'm into. Lead me right into the action, that's what I want. All right, I think my allergies have calmed down a bit. Oh, this is blocked off. Definitely not going down there. All right, we're going in here. W wait, is, is that... Uh, oh god, I should... I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah, probably a good idea, my guy. Oh, okay, I'm nervous now. I'm nervous. I feel like that's gonna become me next. All right, I'm gonna keep it moving. Something tells me I'm not gonna be able to escape from here, though. What is that noise? What did I just hear? I'm not even gonna look back. I'm not even gonna turn around. It's hard to breathe. Yeah, that's your fault. That's your fault for going down in here in this enclosed space where there's probably not much oxygen. Oh, oh, hey, uh, dude, what do I do? What do I do in this scenario? What do I do? What do I do in this scenario? What do I do in this scenario? What do I do? Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. That's definitely Cage Face and he's definitely coming for me. I'm just gonna keep holding this shift button and this forward button and not make any mistakes in my movement. That's what's 100% gonna happen. Am I gonna be able to get out of here? Uh-oh, my nose is running. My nose is running. This is not the time. This is not the time. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I seem to be making it away somewhat. I don't know how, but I think the guy's still following me, so I'm gonna keep him moving and I'm not gonna turn around to see how far behind me he is. Uh-oh, 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 oh, 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 okay, he's appearing again. He's appearing again. And I don't know what to do now. Something tells me I'm just gonna die here. Something tells me I'm about to die. I can't even really move that quickly anymore. I think the air being so hard to breathe. Okay. I juked him. How's it feel to get your ankles snapped in six places because I'm moving too quickly and efficiently for you? I might do this. I might be able to do this. Oh boy, my head is wobbling though. Doesn't seem like a good situation for me. Which was the way? It was this way. Oh, I see the end. I am so very close to the end. Please don't appear in front of me, Mr. Cagehead. Cage face, sorry. All right, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Getting closer. <laughs> Nearly there. Am I blocked? I think I'm blocked in. I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. Oh, the phone is ringing. Hello? Hey, you're calling right on time, just as I finish watching the tape. No wonder the guy turned out the way he is now. Perhaps I can interview him. Anyway, looks like I have enough material for my new story. It might even have a name. Yeah, I got ending A. Well, this was pretty neat. I assume, though, that there's another ending, so I kind of want that to happen. I'm going to wait for these credits to roll. Don't worry, I'll let them roll at the end when I give my end spiel so you guys can see all the wonderful people who worked on this game. But for now, I'm going to skip ahead and we'll try this out again and see if I can get another ending, which I assume is probably just... Yeah. All right, I'm going to check everything on the desk before starting. We're going to get through... Oh, what is going on? Why? No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, here's the VHS. We're gonna pop it in the thing and stuff, and I'm gonna just die. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Never been so ready to die in my life. So wait, am I the one reviewing this tape as well as being in it? All right, let me go down here because I feel like I need to trigger some events. And by trigger some events, I mean stare at these feathers. Boom! 
Look at those beautiful things. Do birds nestle here? I don't think so, man. I don't think there's any birds in this place. I think you're stupid. A stupid idiot. That's what you are. So right when I get to the end, I'm not even really going to try to run away at all. I think I'm just going to try and get attacked by the guy and possibly that might be another ending. I'm assuming there's only two endings because there doesn't seem to be any other escape routes that I can get out from. Seems like just the one entrance and exit, so I'm assuming that the other ending is being caught by the man and being brutally mutilated. Brutilated. Ah, I didn't even notice this trail of blood before. That's wonderful. That's a nice touch. Definitely exists to make me feel safer in this place. All right, it's time to do the thing and stuff. And the thing and stuff is right here. Oh God. I should... I'm getting the hell out of here. Yes, I am. And by getting the hell out of here, I mean out of this life. All right, Cage Face, do your worst. I'm ready for you. Is this where you spawned initially? I think so. Somewhere around here. Not gonna lie, even though I know exactly what's coming, the anticipation of it coming is kind of starting to get to me a little bit. Well, come on. There you are. All right. Well, Cage Face, I get a nice good look at you for the thumbnail. And then you kill me. I think I was right. I think that was the other ending. And there's the phone call. Hello? Hey, you're calling right on time. Just as I finished watching the tape. He was murdered right there while recording. Some real intense stuff. Anyway, looks like I have enough material for my new story. It might even have a name. Cage face. Well, that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a bit on the slower pace side. It's not like super action packed, but I think what really shines in this game is the atmosphere and the environment that you're walking through. And the little bit of lore building in the beginning definitely does the game justice as well. It kind of gives you a little bit more to look forward to as you're walking through this mine shaft. Overall, this was a really well-made game. You could tell a lot of care and attention to detail went into it. My only question is how did I get the tape for the second ending? Because if the guy was trapped in there and killed by Cage Face, then wouldn't you be a little worried to go in there and get killed by Cage Face? Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, I enjoyed this game. It's very well made. And if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. And that's going to do it for me here today. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you did. And don't be afraid to leave me a comment as well. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel and you want to catch a new video every single day of the week, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks again for watching everyone. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.